Morning again, guys. Okay, so I put out that video this morning uh, about what's going to feasibly happen Monday. And like I mentioned in their stories on New York and Guam and, you know, people are talking about it. And I got an interesting email from one of y'all. And it got me thinking a little bit. I had to run to the post office to mail out tomato seeds. So, you know, 45 minutes in the car back and forth. Got time to think. And, uh, but she had said in there that she was a, uh, I'm assuming a CNA or something of the sort like that, that worked in a nursing home. And we all know what happened with nursing homes last time that people weren't allowed to go see grandma or, you know, their parents or whoever was in the nursing home because, you know, COVID fears and everything. So, all right. So that's fine. And so now Potato was trying to mandate all these nursing homes to get, uh, force their employees to get jabbed. Otherwise they won't get their Medicare and Medicaid patients. So what's going to happen, we all know this, is the the nursing homes or whatever are going to lose staff. It's just inevitable, okay? A lot of people are just like, I'm not doing this. Now, if you've got family members that are getting care, what does that mean? That means there's less people to care for them, which means their care gets worse. So her idea was this, and I think it was I think it's brilliant on both sides, is she will start her own home care business. And now obviously it's not 24-7, and obviously that would mean bringing grandma to your house. And for some people that's possible, for some it's not. I get it, okay? But I'm, I'm just saying that this got me thinking on an idea here. So how do we beat the system? Gee, there's an American way of doing things. How do we beat the system? We, you know, just... The, the American way of life. But this was a good idea as if, you know, she could talk to her patients and her patients' families and say, look, if this is what they do, this is what I'm going to do. If you're interested, let me know and get a business card printed. I mean, what Vistaprint charges 10 bucks or whatever it is to get business cards printed and mail them to your house. Hell, create a business card and do that, okay? And I know everybody's like, oh, but you got to get licensed and all this sort of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, okay, uh, fine, enforce it. Uh, you know, not a big deal. You know, it's some people are going to understand what I'm talking about here. Yeah, you can go license yourself as a company or whatever it would be, but I'm not saying do anything illegal. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying black market is going to come into play. Now, that's just one example. But so I was thinking about, on other respects, let's say we can't go to the grocery store, the hardware store, the liquor store. I mean, I don't you'll pick one, wherever it would be. We're preppers. What we do is put stuff back, okay? Now, people in your area, your neighbors or whatever, know, chances are, you know, know what you're good for okay you know gee you've got all the uh pretty handmade stuff out in the front yard or whatever and people ask oh that's so cute what'd you do oh i made it myself so they know you do it so what's to say everybody doesn't start little cottage industries garage sales okay we've all had a garage sale a yard sale or whatever and what do you normally put out there you put out stuff that you don't need anymore, clothes that the kids outgrew, whatever it would be. Who's to say that you don't have a garage sale with, oh, I don't know, bars of soap, tubes of toothpaste, cans of food, whatever it would be. Get my point? Okay. There's going to be a lot of your neighbors who don't know, you know, that you don't know that are anti-whatever, man, anti-lockdown, anti-whatever. And if there are stores that all of a sudden they can't get into, you're just having a garage sale. Last time I checked, there's no restrictions on what I've ever seen on what you can and cannot sell in a garage sale. 
within reason. Okay. You know, you can't sell weapons out of a garage sale or something like that. Sure. I get those things. All right. So again, I'm not telling anybody to do anything illegal, but I've never seen, you know, any law that says you can't sell canned vegetables out of a garage sale. You know, we see, uh, Produce stands, talked about them all the time, on the side of the road. You know, the guy's selling his corn, his tomatoes, his peaches, whatever it would be. Okay, There's nothing that says you can't go to the dollar store and buy $100 worth of canned goods. It's just saying. Okay? And, or God knows whatever you've got in your pantry. You, know, you want to rotate some of your food or whatever it is. Fine. You can't go to the dollar store anymore. You can't get it. All right. You bought it for a dollar. Sell it for a dollar and a quarter. Capitalism. Okay. We're still allowed to do that in the United States. Unlike what Bernie Sanders wants. Okay. The basis of our economy is still capitalism. And the common mantra of the typical American is stick it to the man. All right. Well, it, this is an idea on how you can do a multitude of things. A, find out who are like-minded people in your area. Okay. I mean, and I'm saying this is, mind you this, this is all if this crazy crap starts happening next week, which is very possible. Okay. But you're going to find out who like-minded people are in your area, which helps you grow your mag. Okay, which maybe also helps you in the ability to finding out what you can barter for. And in a worst case scenario, maybe makes you a little bit of money. Like I said, buy it for a buck, sell it for a buck and a quarter. Okay, definition of capitalism, which that extra quarter adds up over time may allow you to buy something else that you want to put in your preps. It might be worth making an extra trip to the dollar store toilet paper you know remember all those stories uh last year on what was it they were hoarding hand sanitizer now i'm not saying to go out and clean out like the guy in tennessee did clean out every store of hand sanitizer or whatever tried to do it that'll get you in trouble okay but if you've got 20 packs of toilet paper that's not hoarding Okay, that's prepping, all right? And gee, you're trying to help your fellow neighbor. Not a problem, okay? I'm not telling anybody to do this, like I said, what the guy did with the hand sanitizer, go out and clean out any stores by any means, okay? But if you've got extra, there's a way to help your community, build your mag, who knows, maybe make a little bit of profit. You're not going to make a ton, but okay. But which might allow you to buy something else that you need. Because what they're trying to do, remember, is squeeze the little guy out. Okay. Well, maybe it's time that the little guy, the real little guy, the micro guy, you and me, fight back a little bit. Now, granted, you're not going to take credit cards and all this sort of stuff, but you know, until somebody comes up and says garage sales are now illegal, it's an idea. If you got other suggestions on how to improve on this, please hit me. This is just something that kind of crossed my mind. I thought it might be something to talk about and some way we could do something. But, you know, let's all put our brains together. We do great with that, with the whole family here about thinking of things to do. Uh, let me know your suggestions. Put them in the comments. Share them with everybody else because it's a way somehow to keep people afloat. You know, like I said, you make that quarter. Maybe that extra quarter and quarter and quarter and quarter and quarter makes you enough to put another tank of gas in the car or helps you pay the electric bill or something like that. And it's also helping the neighbor who all of a sudden might not be able to go to the store. Okay, so just an idea, okay? But... That's what we need to come up with more these days, guys, is ideas how to stick it to the man. Don't you love how this brain works? Have a good one, guys. I'm all out.